In this tutorial, we'd like to show you some advanced editing features of ProPresenter version 6. In order to do that, we're going to take any one of these blank slides I have at the beginning of this song and right click on it and then choose Edit Slide from the second option down. We have an entire lesson on how to edit the text. The second button from the gear on the right is your text editor. But we'll just put one word in for now. I will double click and I will type the word hello. Oops. There we go. And I will go ahead and do control A to highlight the whole word. We'll increase the size to 140. Hit enter. And we'll make it bold. Okay. There's the word hello. We have another lesson again on all this. But let me show you some things that we no, don't normally do with slides. I'll take the box and I can change the location of the word hello simply by moving the box, changing the size and shape. We'll make it a little bit smaller here. There we go. We also have the text tool at the upper left corner to add other boxes with other words. Instead of putting it all in one box, I could uh, take this and double click again and type the word Fred. And again, I can change the color, the font, anything I want to with this. So you can have multiple text boxes on the screen if that suits your purpose. Let me show you another item we have here. The second box from the left is says Add Rectangle to Slide. I'll click on that and it gave me a rectangle. Mine defaults to white. If I go to the second tool from the gear, this tells me how to do all my editing for shapes. Right now it says it's white. It has a black border of one, which you can't see on the black screen. Let's uh, do some things with it. Notice the XY coordinates and the width and height. When I move the box around, you'll see the numbers change on the screen. When I <coughs> drag the corners you will see the height and width change so you can adjust all of that the other thing we have is we can change the color of the box I'll change take the fill color here we'll move to say somewhere in the blue scale and I'll just click here close my color window and now I have a different color let's say I want to put Fred in a box well I'm gonna put the box over Fred and that's not what I want, but what I can do is I can move up here to say bring forward or send backward. I will send my box backward and now Fred's in the front. And I can click here and move my Fred around and I have a box. Let's uh, move the box forward by sending the Fred backwards. Let's say I want to put a border around it that's not black. I'll change my line color here in my box. It starts off with being black. Let's change it to something we can see. We'll change it to red. And I'll click this way. But it's only one line wide, so it's hard to see. So watch what happens as I click here. Now I have a red border around the, around the box. I can also say, well, I don't want a box. I want a circle or an ellipse. Let me take the whole thing and move it somewhere else so you can see better. And this is what the corner radius is for. If I type in the number 90, I get nice rounded corners. If I type in the number 180, they're even more rounded. And if I want to, I can change the height and width to be virtually identical. And I can make a circle. And so you can go from a rectangle to a circle if you want. Or I can go back to an ellipse and move the ellipse in front of Fred and send it back. And so Fred's in the box. Well, in an ellipse. There's a couple other features I'd like to show you on this screen. We won't deal with all of them. But another one is you can actually add a, an image to a slide. That's the fourth item from the top in the gray bar. I'll click there and let's pick uh, this garden picture here and now I have an image I can resize and put 
on my slide. You can actually add a movie as well. Let me click this one to video. I have a video promotion here. I will take it, enlarge it, <clears throat> and now I'll be able to actually play it. I will close the editor and we will click on it and you'll see the video playing as we uh, watch the slide. Oh, what are we asking God to do? We are asking God to move in this building and move in this community to show these kids. I'll who... clear that so you can see that. But one nice feature you have is you can embed video, pictures, and do graphics. There's one more feature I'd like to show you. And I'll right click and we'll do edit slide. I'm going to take the video out for now so when we play it again you don't hear the noise. One option we have is this little box here called Add Crawler to Slide. I'll click on that and it wants to know what is going to crawl across the screen. So we enter some text. Let's say the text will be uh, come to our VBS this summer. Alright, now I can loop immediately or I can loop with delay. Let's see what the changes are in that. I'll click OK. Now the problem with the crawler is you can't see what it is. You can move it up and down and center it on the screen, but you can't actually see how what the crawler looks like. If I click on my text tool over on the right by the gear, this, this is what the crawler is going to look like. It inherits the font size, font shape, font color, everything uh, of what I had here. And I can't see that here, so I'm going to save this. I'll go back and click on it. And now I see my crawler came with the same text I had last time. And if I say loop immediately, no, notice what happens. After we get to the end of the sentence, it, it begins right away. Well, let's say I don't like that. So I'm going to right-click on the slide again, edit it. And this time, uh, I'll click inside my crawler. I'm going to change the font size. Maybe I only want this to be, say, uh, 90. I'm going to change the color of the font. Uh, let's do um, a, a green. Okay. And um, uh, let's, let's change one more thing. I'm going to right-click on, double-click on the, um, left-click on the... the on the crawler and now do loop with delay. Okay, click OK. Now I've changed three things. I've changed the font color, I've changed the font size, and I've changed the way it loops. I'll click on the X, close it, now I click on the slide again, and now it's changed the font. But notice what happens. Loop with delay means it will clear the screen before it repeats what's on the crawler. So that's a very easy way to change and, and, and format the crawler on your screen as well. So we've looked at how to change words in, in boxes, how to use shapes, how to embed images and movies, and how to use a crawler. Some powerful tools that, that you'll have fun using as you grow your skill in ProPresenter version 6. Thank you so much. We trust you found this exercise in advanced text editing in ProPresenter 6 to be useful. If it was helpful for you, we would like to invite you to like us and subscribe to the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.